I'm the Maths Prof and in this video I'm going to talk you through some exam questions on currency conversion. You might want to grab a pen and paper and your calculator if you want to have a go at some of these yourself. Then you can just forward to the end of each explanation to see if you've got the answer right. Anyway, have fun. Okay, so here's the first exam question. In this one, we're changing dollars into euros. So look at the exchange rate. We're traveling this way, okay, dollars into euros, and we need to decide whether we're multiplying or dividing by this number here. Well, in this one, it's divide, because whenever you divide a number by itself, the answer is always one. So I need to do exactly the same thing with these dollars up here that Chris wants to change. I need to divide those dollars by that same number, 1.313. So pop that in your calculator and hopefully you get 1,028.1797. It's not an exact value, which means we need to round to three significant figures. So start counting from here, one, two, three but the fourth figure rounds that third figure up to three. So we're left with 1,030. Okay, so in this second exam question, we're changing dollars into rubles. So remember, it's always times or divide by the number that's not one when we look at the exchange rate. And in this one, it's multiplying. Because if I multiply the number 1 by 33.2, it gives me 33.2. So I have to do exactly the same thing with those $290 that Chip is paying for the bus tour. So 290 multiplied by 33.2. And this time, when we put it in the calculator, we get a whole number. So you don't need to round to three significant figures in this question. You can just leave it as it is. Okay, so there are two parts to this exam question. In the first part, we're changing dollars into euros. So we're traveling this way. So remember, it's either multiply or divide by the number that's not one. In this one, it must be one multiplied by 0 0.68 because one times 0 0.68 is just 0 0.68. So I need to do the same thing with those dollars there that Sonia is going to change. So 150 multiplied by 0 0.68. And when you put that in the calculator, you get a whole number. It is, and this time it's in euros, 102 euros. Okay, so there's the first part. Now, in the second part of the question, we're changing euros into dollars. So this time we're traveling the other way when we look at the exchange rate, okay? Euros into dollars. So this time, well you can probably guess, if that one was multiply, this one must be divide. Which makes sense because 0 0.68 divided by 0 0.68 is 1. Whenever you divide something by itself, you get 1. So I must do the same thing with those euros there. I have to divide 25.50 or 25.5 by 0 0.68. So when I do that, I get, okay, I get a decimal, but that's fine. It's an exact answer. So I just write it down as it is, 37.5. Okay. Okay, so in this exam question, in order to work out the difference of the cost of the tin of paint in America and Italy, we need to make sure that both of the costs are in dollars. Well, the first tin of paint, the one in America, that one is already in dollars, so that one's fine. But we need to change the tin of paint in Italy, which is in euros, we need to change those euros into dollars. So here's the exchange rate. We need to change euros into dollars. And in order to do that, I need to divide by 
0 0.72 because 0 0.72 divided by itself is 1. So I need to do the same thing with those euros there. I need to divide 13.32 by 0 0.72 as well. So put that in your calculator and you should get an exact answer and it's 18.5 and remember that's now in dollars so we have both tins of paint in dollars we've got the one in america up here 70.16 and we've also got the one in italy which is actually more expensive so all that's left now is to find the difference and remember finding the difference is just subtracting so you need to subtract those two different costs so take the larger one so 18.5 and then minus the cheaper one, 17.16. So the final answer is $1.34. So there's the difference. That's the final answer to this question. So in this question, we don't have an exchange rate that changes euros straight into rupees. So what we need to do is we need to change the euros into dollars and then those dollars into rupees so we've got two steps in this question so to start with to change euros into dollars I need to multiply by 1.09 because 1 multiplied by 1.09 is just 1.09 and then to change dollars into rupees I have to multiply again because 1 multiplied by 62 is just 62 so I need to multiply the 400 euros by 1.09 and then I also need to multiply by 62 so I can do that all in one go so put that in the calculator and the final answer is 27,032 rupees okay one more to finish question we must change rupees into dollars so here's the exchange rate and to change rupees into dollars I must multiply by 0 0.0152 because 1 multiplied by that number gives me that number so I must do the same thing with those 130 rupees that the child spends on sweets I have to multiply it by 0 0.0152 and when I put that in the calculator, I get, and remember this is now in dollars, 1.976. But we're not finished, because in this question, it asks us to round correct to the nearest cent. That means we have to round to two decimal places. So that means we need two numbers after the decimal point. So in order to do that, I need to check the third number after the decimal, so this one. And because this number is bigger than 5, it rounds that number 7 up 1 to the number 8. So I'm left with 1.98. So that's the final answer. So you need to round correctly in this question to get full marks. <laughs> 